Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Magical Music TV, and for another Song React. Today we're checking out a B-side by Radiohead, and the B-side is called Stupid Car. I attempted to do a full album react of OK Computer. I got to the song Subterranean Homesick Alien, and I couldn't finish it, guys. I've never seen a reactor stop the song and, and not finish the song. And I did that. And uh, I apologize, you know. One of my rules is that you don't stop the song. Not only did I stop the song, I didn't restart the song. I was never a Radiohead fan. I always thought that they were not my thing. I've known plenty of people that love the band. But OK Computer is one of those albums that you keep hearing about. It's um it's it's other people's holy grail albums. Many thousands of people consider OK Computer one of their holy grail albums. So when I started my React, I thought, Radiohead, I don't really like them as a band. I'm not into the style of their music. But my my own uh, taste has widened, you know, since the, the days of the early 2000s, when, uh, since I've, I've known about Radiohead for a long time, and um, I thought I'd give it a go now with my widened taste, and maybe... My tastes are now Radiohead are included in that. And I chose OK Computer as the first React because it's so many people's Holy Grail album. And I wasn't expecting to love it, but I was expecting something. I was a, I wanted I wanted something to go. This is why people think it's a Holy Grail album. And I didn't get it. I listened to Airbag, I listened to Paranoid Android, and most of Subterranean Homesick Alien. And I think we will get back to doing the rest, guys. It depends how it goes. I'm determined to find a Radiohead song that I like. I've never been into Radiohead. I don't like the style of their music. It's just the style that they play is not to my taste. It's not to my taste. I like Tom York's solo album, The Eraser thought that was a decent album. The song on there, Hey Hey, The Devil Me, Hey Hey, I like that song. I think Tom, Tom York's voice is great on that, on that song. And that whole album from what I remember. I can't stand Tom, Tom York's voice in Radiohead guys, there's something about it. As well as the production particularly on OK Computer. I haven't been vibing it, guys. And I uh, had a few comments saying that um, they don't think it's generic rock because I said it was generic rock. I think part of that is the fact that so many bands have copied Radiohead, tried to sound like Radiohead. They love Radiohead. They think OK Computer is a holy grail album and they want to emulate it. And so I've heard Thousands of bands probably that sound like Radiohead. 50% of the music industry is filled with artists that try to, try to sound like Radiohead. And it's not my style. I wish more bands would copy other bands. Some more less known bands, more interesting bands. I understand that there's... A quality to the songwriting of Radiohead. They have some nice guitar passages and the vocal melodies are very nice, neatly arranged. And, um, you know, there's some stuff to dig on if you like the style, but the whole package together, it's never blown me away. It seems like the furthest thing that I want from a, from a rock band. And not because it's bad, because it's kind of mediocre. I just think it's the middle of the road. It's too easy going. It's too easy going. 
I'm more of a punk fan. I like when bands um, colour outside the lines a little bit. And that's what I was hoping to find on OK Computer. I was hoping to find like this kind of experimental album with intricate songs and amazing production. You know, best case scenario, that's what I was hoping for. And the first three songs really left me left me disappointed. And um, I'm determined to find some good Radiohead songs, guys. I'll continue to look until I find some good stuff. I do have something else planned. Um, for the Tom York fans, he's released some other solo albums, so I'll be checking that out. Since I like the Eraser guys. And the song Jigsaw Falling Into Place, it's the only Radiohead song I've ever looked, searched for and played. Because when that hit the radio back in the day in Rainbows, I was like, oh, Radiohead, no, they're kind of, you know, all right. Jigsaw Falling Into Place, it's got the nice guitar intro. But man, OK Computer, it just, it almost put me to sleep, guys. And that's why I had to stop the stop the song and just reevaluate what I was what I was getting into, redefine my expectations. Because that song, Subterranean Homesick Alien, it was the chorus sounds like you too. The watery guitars and the vocal, it sounds like Bono singing and it sounds like the edge playing guitar. I did not expect Radiohead to remind me of you too guys. I really wasn't expecting that at all. I want something else. I'm not looking for bands that sound like you too. That's just not what I'm looking for. And unfortunately it did. Subterranean reminded me of U2 and maybe a bit of Coldplay. So it's I'm starting to wonder what Radiohead is. What band are they? Are they a band? Are they this pop project like... I want to find some good songs. I know they've got to have some other stuff that is good. So until I build the courage to return to OK Computer, I've decided I want to go my own way with it, find my own magic, if you will. I believe that I'm much more likely to be interested in their B-sides, in their demos, in their obscure songs, and I've been searching for some, and it looks like they have a lot of album stuff that's not on albums. Rarities, B-sides. I think I'm more likely to like those songs. I noticed the producer is like the same throughout Radiohead's career. Nigel somebody. He also did The Eraser, which I don't mind the production on The Eraser. You know, I quite like it. It's a decent album. Look, it's not a Holy Grail album, but... It's fine. I don't have the same aversion to the Eraser as I do to to, uh, to Radiohead. But I think the production of OK Computer sounds so polished. I kind of want to hear demos. I want to hear the unpolished version of these songs. Because I think that's that's where I would find the magic magic in Radiohead. So here we are today. We have a... I don't know where this B-side's from. It's called Stupid Car. Is it from this four-track EP? I've got no idea where it's from. I searched on Google. I saw a couple of lyrics that said, I drive in my stupid car. It looked kind of funny. I like that. I like the lyrics without knowing the song. I drive my stupid car into town. That's all I know about it. I love the title of the song, Stupid Car. Brilliant title for a song. I'm just afraid now that when I play this song, it's got the... Feeling of Radiohead is going to hit me with Tom York's vocals and then the watery arpeggio guitars. And I just hope they give me an interesting little pop song or something here, something to dig on. That gives me hope, guys. That gives me hope. The A and Ada. I hope I like it, guys. Am I A or am I A? It hasn't been positive for Radiohead so far. It's so strange, because they really are one of the biggest bands, like Radiohead. They're a huge band. Everybody loves this band, guys. And I just don't vibe it. 
the same way. It doesn't hit me. The combination of all the elements in the song, it doesn't spark my interest. I hope the B-sides can offer me something so I can, I can get on the Radiohead head bandwagon because no one likes being left out in the cold. And I kind of am now with Radiohead, you know what I mean? I'm out in the cold, not understanding it, not feeling it. So let's give Stupid Car a chance, guys. Keep an eye on the Aonator for how I'm feeling. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This is more what I was hoping for, guys. This is the kind of rare, obscure B-side that is unpolished and has a charm to it. It's got a heart about it. I love the fact he's singing about a little car. It's a stupid little car. I love that. I love that. It's not this, like, crazy song for mature adults with sophisticated music and instruments and uh, lyrics you know i like this a lot more than anything off okay computer so far this is definitely good there was only a, a short phrase in there which i wasn't digging which you would have seen on the a and Ada, um had you've been paying attention but the rest of it i was digging the rest of it i was digging and the end how he held that one note guys nice way to end that song and it also, the strumming guitar, it felt less generic, like generic radio rock. It felt more pop punk, like Green Day or something. And I liked that. I definitely like... If Radiohead sounded more like Green Day, for sure, I would be all about it. And this had elements of it. Simple strumming guitar and the singing about the stupid car. Definitely what I was hoping for... Um, when I found this song and this B-side, this is what I was hoping for. It makes me think that there is something to Radiohead that I'll dig, some avenue. Bands often have different streaks, you know? They've got different flavours, different albums, different time periods. Um, and even my favourite bands, I'm not the biggest fan of every album or phase that they go through. 
have a feeling that there's a Radiohead phase that I'll probably really enjoy. OK Computer has not been it so far. I will go back and listen to the rest of OK Computer. And, um, and just see you guys, just because I'm trying to untangle the web of my thoughts and emotions about Radiohead. I really grew up um, not liking the band because I felt like they represented... They re I felt like they represented what I, I didn't want rock music to be. I wanted rock music to be crazy and wild and off the walls, colouring outside the lines, wacky, crazy, heavy, fast. And Radiohead, whenever that, it always feels like I'm going to be put to sleep. This song, though didn't didn't go through the the machine the commercial machine of being released for a big label for a big for a big record and it's much more interesting guys it's much more interesting it's very quiet though at the start i had to pump the volume up there's elements that remind me of like daniel johnston and elements that remind me of, of green day gives me hope guys it gives me hope it's a curious little oddity song and i can see i can see this having its own place i can see myself listening to this again and uh, it's the most interesting radiohead song i've i've heard to date and it reaffirms my belief that i will like their demos more than their more than their albums um so we will continue i've got a few other b-sides here ready to go uh, so i might check out one of those before i get back to the uh, Holy Grail album, OK Computer. So please do join us for that, guys. I think I was definitely in the A for this one. You know, you can't even really tell that this is a Radiohead song. It's just a nice, bite-sized song. has its own little identity. It's very simple. But it has a heart to it, a charm to it, and an interesting quality that I have not heard Radiohead have before. I knew it was in there somewhere, and I found a bit of it, and I'm going to keep searching for the magic. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned for the next one. We've got a few different reacts happening uh, at the moment, checking out some awesome music. Uh, we'll be looking into Black Midi very soon, if you're a fan of Black Midi. Uh, also continuing our Dillinger Escape Plan, uh, checking out their debut album. And coming up, guys, Dinosaur Jr., another band that, like, I've never really listened to. I saw them on video music TV back in the day, and they seemed very generic, guys. Dinosaur Jr., they also sounded very generic to me back in the day. I, I put a song on recently of Dinosaur Jr., and I thought, this is pretty good. I don't remember what song it was, but I've got an album ready to go, their debut album. So if you like Dino Dinosaur Jr., please stick around for that one, Omega. To check that out i reckon dinosaur jr could be one of my new favorite bands guys if they deliver the magic but until then we'll continue on our radiohead uh, train we've got our rob crow rabbit hole if you're interested in obscure singer songwriters definitely check out our rob crow and uh we just started arctic monkeys as well checking out some newer newer arctic monkeys so a lot of interesting stuff a lot of good music uh to come so please do join us next time let us know down below what you thought what we can improve and um we'll see you then guys take care